हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट डे ओ गॉड क्या क्वेश्चन है ये द कंप्लेक्सिटी ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एच केसेस द थिंग्स व्हिच आर बीइंग इन्वॉल्व यू कैन सी मास प्रोबेबिलिटी डीपी स्लाइडिंग विंडो एच केसेस लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन इज गोना बी ऑसम या बिफोर फर्दर डू लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस लाइक आई नो द वीडियो इज बिट लेट बिकॉज़ it took a lot of time to actually make these notes which you can see down below so basically what i do is actually make the notes for you guys so that you can refer to it just as a at a glance you don't have to go through the entire video to actually go and have a look at a specific part of video which you like you want to refer later so if you don't know the sheet is coming up in that sheet you can add i have a notes column you can you like you can just add a link there of the sheet and it will be good but yeah uh before that let's start with the question self new 21 game so it's a standard poker game uh it's a standard game uh in casinos and club so it's a 21 game uh, in which you have to go close to number 21 so let's see okay how this modification is um, because it's a new game right it's a new 21 game so cool uh, alice plays the following game Loosely based on the card game name twenty one. Cool. Alice starts with zero points. Remember, Alice will start with zero points and draws a number, and she will draw a number while she has less than k points. And basically, she will draw the number until she has reached k points. At each draw, she gains an integer number of points randomly from the range from one to max points. Because as we say, okay, he she will draw. When I say he, she, please, because Alice can be he and she also. So here it is she, but I've seen in court forces a few times it's he. So yeah, uh, Alice, uh, while she has less than k points, uh, she will keep on drawing. And basically, what she can draw, she can draw from one to max points near number of uh, points. Cool. Uh, where max points is an integer. Cool. Each draw is independent, and outcome have equal probabilities. Which means, at any point of time, she has an option to draw any of the points from one to max points, right? If she draw, let's say one, two, let's say eight. If she draw, let's say three. So the probability of three to draw, and the probability of four to draw, or five to draw, or six to draw, or one to draw, or eight to draw is all same. And what it is equal to? It is equal to one by eight. so probability of drawing each number so how we find the probability okay number of favorable outcomes upon number of total number of outcomes number of favorable out outcomes is one drawing a number and number of all the outcomes is it can be eight from one to eight i can draw i can draw any number it is a reason how you find the probability of drawing a number out of the range from one to one provided all have Equal chances of coming up. Cool. That is the first part. As soon as you read the question, you will find okay. It is a probability which is being asked to you. Cool. Alice stop drawing when she gets k or more points. Cool. As soon as as soon as Alice reaches a point k or more than k, she has to stop. Cool. We have to find the probability. And as we were seeing above, also we are finding. Probability and stuff. Uh, we have to determine the probability that Alice has n or fewer points. Okay, Alice should have n or fewer points. Cool. Uh, and for ultimately, like, at it's a probability, so it's in double. So we have to return the answer in many five. Like, but we just simply return the form of a double. But cool. We have to find the probability of if Alice has n or fewer points. Now, we will just go on. Okay, how this is all happening? But ultimately, what we saw here is okay. Every number from one to max points have equal probability of coming up, and that is one by that number of points, which is max points. Cool. And as soon as the points go more than equal to k, we have to means Alice have to stop. Alice and all, we are on the same team, so we will play accordingly. And also, we have to return the probability that she has n or fewer points, and when she will stop, she will stop at k points and. Has to accommodate up till the n points, so I have to find the probability sum from k to n points. Cool. We will go into examples as we look, but let's start with a quick example which we think of ourselves. A very rough example. If let's say n is twenty-five, which means I have to find the probability of finding twenty-five or lesser points. K is twenty-one, which means as soon as the points reaches to twenty-one, Alice has to stop. maximum points which means alice can pick any points from 1 to 3 at each draw which means a card having written okay 1 2 or 3 alice can pick any of these cards out of three cards cool 
Now, if Alice has to start from zero, Alice has three options to draw. One, two or three. So basically current point of Alice is zero. Alice, as soon as she draws one card, her point will become one or she can draw a card of value two, she, her point will become two and she can draw a value of a, a card of value three, her point will become three. So it is one card is drawn. Cool. One card is drawn. But Alice has many options because maybe I will say, okay, Alice can go very like Alice can go a, a, as many times she wants. It's just that okay, the K it should lose it should be as soon as the K becomes more than equal to 21, which means as soon as the points you have becomes more than equal to K, then you have to stop. The points are three, one, two. If you don't have to stop, right? Because it's less than 21. So I can just go up again. Now at this point, when Alice had only one point right now, she again has three options. Okay, she can have one, two, and three. As a card, she, she can choose. So the so the new points will become as 2, 3, and 4. Again, for this 2, she would have 3 options. So the new um, points would have become 3, 4, and 5. For this 3, she again has 3 options. It will become 4, 5, and 6. You saw kind of a tree is becoming, okay, at one option, at one step, at one card drawn. I, I have 3 options of cards. 1, 2, and 3. And how it is? Okay, because of this max points. Now, at another next step, I again build an entire tree out of all these points and again some new points are being formed and it will just go on and go forth. Something like recursion you can see here. Okay, cool for sure. And also we can see, okay, the points are being drawn, but we'll actually look on, look on to it later. But yeah, now we can just imagine, okay, how this is actually coming up because I want the points. I want the probability. I want the probability that Alice has n or fewer points. So basically, I have to find the probability of every point from k to n. So probability of k, k plus 1, k plus 2 up till n. I have to find the probability. So for every point, I have to go and check, okay, what is the probability contribution of that point? Cool. Now, we have to output the probability. Probability, we have to output. Okay. We saw something, it would look like this. We can easily find the probability, but let's think of what edge cases we can have so see firstly we can have a rough idea as soon as we had a rough idea rough idea now we will think of edge case okay um when we think of edge case okay it is very less very much beyond some exceeding limit like this okay cool now we have three variables n k and max points max points will not affect us n or k can only affect us right maybe max point can affect us we will see it but if we just look at it when our threshold, because K was our threshold, because as soon as the point switches K or more than K, Alice has to stop. K equal to zero. Initially, Alice has a zero point itself. And he's, and that is the question saying, okay, K is zero, which means threshold has reached. Alice has not even started and she has been told, hey, stop, because you have reached your points. But Alice will say, okay, oh, I have not even started. What are you doing? That is the reason. Alice, which means we have reached the threshold. So basically we can't even start the game. That is the reason. The probability to get n or fewer points is one. You will say Aryan, but it, it, it is not even possible to reach any points at all. Because we were starting at zero. Our points I reached was zero. But I will say, you not even you didn't even started the game. If it had been that, okay, you started the game and then you were not able to reach n points, then I would have said, okay, your probability is not one, it is something else, it is zero or anything. But you did not even get a chance to start the game, to actually reach any point at all. Thus, the probability is one. Always consider that without even trying, you can never say that you failed. Which means, if let's say I say, okay, um, I failed. But I did not even give the exam. How can I fail? That's the reason. If you just give the exam, only then you can fail. Without giving the exam, I can't say you failed. That is the reason the probability at k equal to 0. For sure, she has no score at all. It was saying, okay, find the probability of n or fewer points. She has no points at all. But still, she was not even given the chance to start the game. That is the reason the probability at k equal to 0 is 1. It's a way. Very, very important edge case. Now, okay, cool. That was uh, an amazing edge case. Like, it's very hard to think, right? But it's not the only one. If you just look at the examples itself and go back, okay. Um, K is one. Okay, for sure. Alice got a chance at least to draw one card. But 
maximum points, which means Alice can draw any card from 1 to 10. But, and, 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 okay, I was saying, okay, can Alice you reach any card, which means because I have to find the probability that Alice reaches N or lesser points. N, which means 10 or lesser points. And here, yeah, at 1, at 1, as soon as my card value becomes 1 or more than 1, I need to stop. But at least 1 I can put. Which means, okay, as soon as I put a card as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At all these points, my value reaches 1 or more than 1. So basically, I have to step, step stop at all these points. But, as all these points, which means maximum points was 10. So I can put any card value from 1 to 10. And at first step itself, which means as soon as I step one card, my K limit get exceeded, so I have to stop. But ultimately, I was able to achieve all 10 cards, all 10 points. And I was asking, okay, hey, what is that? Okay, you can achieve 10 or lesser points. Yeah, I can achieve 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, which means I can achieve all the points. That is the reason probability is 1. So it is one such case that you will have to find. I will just make it generalize, but it is one such case. Okay, if you are able to achieve those points which are required, then for sure you are good to go. Which means, which means, and how you will say, I didn't uh, what all points I can achieve because see, it was said that you have to stop the game at k points, which means you can continue the game at k minus one points. When I say continue the game, which means you can draw any card. At k minus 1 points, I can draw any value of points to add in my number, which means any card, any value I can add. And what is the value I can add? I can add 1, 2, up till the max points which, which was given. So basically, at the last step, I can achieve a maximum value of points as k minus 1 plus max PTS, which is the max points. So basically, the maximum value, and let's say this maximum max points, right now I have considered it as a big W, but maximum points, maximum, maximum points you can achieve is K minus one plus W, right? Now, if I say, okay, maximum points you can achieve right here is this. Now I am asking you, hey, if N would have been here up till or more than it, which means maximum points. Okay. It is the maximum achievable points. And basically N is beyond that. So basically all these points I could have achieved. Let's say it is the points from 1 to up till N. K points, it has to stop. But K minus 1 points, it can still have a chance to go to maximum value it can reach. And maximum value it can reach is by adding the maximum number of points. So maximum points reachable for this person Alice is this. Which is K minus 1 plus W. At the maximum number of points it can achieve. Which means these are the reachable points. Right? Out of, and I am saying, okay, hey, Aryan, uh, what is the probability of N or lesser points? Then I have all the reachable points which I wanted. Right? I have all the reachable points. I will say, probability of finding, uh, achieving N or lesser points. It's one because I have all the points, right? What I wanted. I am not counting the unreachable ones because it is never reachable and I don't want that at all. That is the reason at k equal to 0, you will also see that, okay, those were not even possible because I didn't even start the game. That's the reason. You have all the reachable points you had, for sure. Your probability is 1, which means your n is more than equal to, which means, okay, you have reached the points and because your option was to get n or more, n or lesser points and for sure, uh, you have all the reachable points with you, then you will say, okay, if n is more than equal to k minus 1 plus this, this w is the max points thing, if it is, then I will just return a 1. These are the two edge cases and one also, also for sure is if uh, I will just show you that, okay, if n is less than k, then also you have to just return a 0 because, but, but, but in the question, it's always given that n is more than k. I'll show this particular part, but these are the two major edge cases which you have to consider. I'll explain them very well. Now, going on to actually a big example that, okay, the above thing which we saw, okay, how it is actually valid, Aryan. Uh, it is okay, k equal to 1, which means, okay, I can place any card, any value, but as soon as it passes a value more than k, I have to stop. So, I have maximum points as 10. So, basically, at one step, I can put 1, 2, 3, up to 10. So, basically, all the reachable points are 10. But, 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 I was only capable of six points which means i wanted to see for six points but reachable points were 10 
I am asking for six points. Six by ten. Consider. I only considered the reachable points at the bottom. In this example, your reachable points were ten. Right. Now, as soon as this n n would have been let's say twelve. So reachable points you got all. But because the the remain two are unreachable, so it, it is no matter at all. That is the reason. Here you have to put that edge case above. That okay. Number of reachable points you have. You can just get those reachable points, and here the reachable points were actually ten, but I have wanted only six. So the probability of getting those six or lesser points is six by ten because both six and ten are reachable points. Cool. Now you got the edge cases. So basically, this is the one edge case which I showed you. N is more than equal to k minus one plus w. K is equal to zero. Then you have to return a one because game didn't even start at all, and you are good. Uh, if n is less than k, um, for sure, um, which means that I have to find the probability of Finding points n or fewer points, which means n or fewer points, the probability of that. But I can't find the probability until unless the game ends and game ends at k points. If n is less than k, which means the game never ended, which means that I can't even find the probability of that. Cool. That is the reason I will just can't find the its, it's probability zero. But yeah, it is not the case ever because our k is always less than equal to n. So it is not the case. But yeah, it is my case if you have your interview lined up. Cool. Now coming back to the actual example, we have considered the edge cases. We are good. Now coming back, okay. Earlier in the initial, we saw the recursion happening, kind of thing, and we know, okay, kind of we find the if we want to find the probability of contribution of every number, how many times it's coming up, what's the contribution of that number. So for sure, um, number is being repeated in the recursion tree. We know that okay, dp is being applied, but we will see how. We take the example again back. N equal to twenty two, k equal to twenty one, max points is three. Now. I need to find the probability from what I told you from k to n because it is the n or lesser points, which means n is twenty two lesser points up till it is twenty one. If it had been any let's say twenty or something, then I would have put it like this. But right now I took the example like this. Okay, n to k. I will just add the probability, which means my final solution will have the probability of getting the number s n n minus one up till the k, right? Cool. It is my final solution which I need to have. Now, as we saw in this earlier recursion tree, what was happening? We can easily see that a point because see, I just want to find the probability of n or fewer points, which means if I need to here find the probability of let's say this point four. So this point four is being contributed here also and here also, for sure, for sure, for sure. I have to find the contribution of each point. Now, for the probability of reaching that number i, here I have showed you four. Now, it can be via multiple ways because it's a tree, and by a tree you can reach a specific point by multiple ways. That is the reason we saw okay, it's a recursion. And as we have the same problem being repeated again and again, that is the reason we can see we can apply our DP here. Now, I just for sure know okay, okay, it's a recursion tree looks like, and we have to find the DP. And it's a. It will be actually easy when we just see. Okay, it is being repeated, and we just want to consume that same value again and again. How? Let's see. It's much better. Let's define as DP state, DP of i. Now it is the probability of reaching the number i. As we saw, okay, we can reach this number four. We can reach this number four. Now with this number four, what other number I can I reach off? You saw a Fibonacci series. You saw uh, the frog ch ch jump series, like the question of a frog jump. It's exactly the same. Which means I can reach a number i. From that number i, what all other number I can reach? I plus one, I plus two, I plus max points. This is the number I can reach. So I will define my DP state as the probability of reaching the number i. Now, if we come back to our example and take the normal standard any point, let's say fourteen. If I want to find the probability of reaching the number fourteen, I can use the existing probability stored in my DP. Consider the fact. Okay, let's say my DP has a value stored. Consider the fact that my DP has value stored. I can just go and check. But okay, what is the DP of thirteen? Which means the probability of getting the point as thirteen, and after that drawing a value as one because thirteen plus one will become will become a fourteen. So. I will say what is the probability of reaching thirteen and and then drawing a card with the value one or adding a value one out of options available are three, which means option available are three, one, two, or three. That is the reason it is the probability. In other words, I am just marking and stating every word. It is the probability of reaching 
13 which means getting the points as 13 and then drawing one value card out of three cards probability of reaching 12 and then drawing two value card two valued card not two values two valued card which means i had one two and three as values right two valued card out of three cards probability of reaching a point 11 and then drawing a point three a valued card three out of three points now as i say the probability of drawing one card out of three cards it's nothing but one by three and as we know the cards will be max points cards so in total it will be one by max pts that's the reason you will see that okay i just wrote a one by three out of here and i just replace that with one by max points that is you can reach to any of the probability because you you remember that the dp of i is the probability of reaching the number i probability of reaching the number i that is how you can define the recurrence relation or the simple relation that okay dp of i minus one which means reaching the i minus one card but then you know you have to draw a one value card which is one card with having a value one out of all the max points cards uh, then reaching this particular value and then drawing a card of value two because it is just one card of value two and then out of these points cards and ultimately i can just repeat the same process i just repeated i just showed that same thing firstly by values this all things are by values considering this example and then i transform into a general stuff it is very important to actually move in like this way because it actually help make it easier to understand stuff and also for you to write in the actual competition contest or OA or interviews also. So please go via values and not directly as, okay, I just show you what is DP of I minus one, I minus two and up to I minus max points. It will not help you at all. So step by step, you go around, it will help you. Now I have this DP of I, I just bring all the max points of I, sorry, max points of I as out. It will just remain deep of I minus one, I minus two up to deep of I minus max points. And it is simply, if I just say, okay, this one, two up to max points, it is nothing but if I just say, I have the PT as points. So basically my PT is, it goes from one up till the max points. As simple as that. So basically I just say at this stage, at this, I want the answer for DP of I minus PT, where my PT goes from one up till the max points point just remember this because in dp i am taking my dp of i minus pt i'll just use this later on so please remember this part now this condition was already looks good uh, you have a dp and then because of that to reach that dp of i you are using the existing dp of i minus one i minus two to i minus max points but 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 um, is it this simple that okay or there's something else involved in this particular condition of finding dp there is something else if you just look closely in the starting and the ending when i say starting which means your, your your see your your dp is nothing but an array right now if you have an array for sure this array is okay starting from the value zero and go up till the max points because ultimately you want to figure out the max points now for this starting with the zero and you are considering all the values earlier and also max points which means max point is bounded by n and k so for sure something would might have happened in this n k or initially in the zero that's the reason i will just check back if i want to find let's say because see you remember ultimately i have to find the sum of probability from k to n because it was the probability of finding points lesser than n or lesser points right which means ultimately i have to find the probability from n to from k to n if i just take an example of finding a probability of 22 let's say which means finding the 22 points then by the simple regress relation i would have grabbed dp of 21 into 1 by 3 dp of 20 into 1 by 3 and dp of 19 into 1, 1 by 3 it is i would have done but 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 you remember what what was the meaning of this it was the meaning that okay reaching the point 20 and then drawing a value 2 reaching a point 19 and then drawing a value 3 it is reaching a point 21 and then drawing a value drawing a value 1 but 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 my game itself ends at 21 which means the last last point i can jump from is the 20 itself and not 21 i showed you also if i have these points my k game ends the last jump i can make is from the k minus 1 so which means 21, I cannot make any jump. I cannot use this all. That is the reason. If you just remember this part, 
I showed you it is DP of I minus PT. So basically your I minus PT should be less than K only then you can actually use that part to actually jump to your next DP of I. You can use your DP of I minus PT to jump only when it is less than K because if it is equal to or more than K then for sure you cannot use that for jump because your game has already ended before. That is the reason you have to just do this one condition in if condition while just having this uh, your DP statement you have to add this if condition but 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 is it the only thing okay Aryan you showed this part which is at the end part. But also we have seen uh, some starting part also comes in because if it's a linear array, some starting part also have an edge case. So yeah, that is also a case. If we are finding let's say DP of 2, then we would have DP of 1, DP of 0 and DP of minus 1. What does minus 1 represent? Reaching a minus 1 point and then jumping 3 steps. Minus 1 point you can never reach. That is the reason. Although you can just pass in as 0, but still I'll just recommend. Just not consider, consider it as at all just say okay your this value was i minus pt so i minus pt should be more than equal to zero only then you will consider that value that is the two cases which you will have to add in your for loop while calculating your dp and that is all you know everything now the two base cases which you show above the, the proper the proper relation of uh, uh, loops to find the dp and the dp cases also you know the main case of uh, dp and also the two if cases if conditions of that dp now let's quickly go look go and look back at the code as simple as the, uh, possible uh, firstly the two corner cases which i showed you the one corner case where n is less than k is not there because we are given that k is always less than equal to n so that is not given cool now i just go and find the max points possible and i know that okay k minus one is the last step that i can reach I can just add max points to that. So basically, ultimately, number of max reachable points are max point. Right. Now, it is my DP which will store, okay, the probability of reaching that particular number i. And for sure, I will just try with every of those points. So that's the reason it's max points. Now, initially, to get the um, points as zero, as I'm starting with the zero itself. So the probability of reaching the point zero is actually one. Cool. Um, then I just go and tried of every of those points this means from one to the max points i try for every point i now for every point i you remember to find the probability of a point i you need to do a i minus pt where pt goes from one up till the max points you remember this part right then i'll simply just repeat the same stuff i have this i i will do the i minus pt where pt goes from one up till the max points and i'll just do the i for i i'll do a i minus pt and into 1 by max points i showed you that part also 1 by max points 1 by max points it is i minus pt it is i minus pt it is i minus pt it is 1 by max points cool it is repeat same for same stuff but 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 we also saw the if condition should make valid i will only and only do it if i minus pt is more than equal to zero which means this condition i minus pt is more than equal to zero and also i minus pt is less than k which is this condition i minus pt is less than k only then i can actually have this dp of i calculated and then ultimately you know remember i have to find the probability of n or fewer points which means k up till n i have to find the probability is the total probability of k up till n thus i will just go up till k to n and simply find the sum of probabilities and the probability of every point from k to n just add that and return in my answer but 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 the complexity of this you can see is simply max points you are just going on to the uh you are simply you or you can simply go up till n also it is simple as simple as that it is no worries at all um so it is kind of that okay if it is from because see you can if max points is more then also no worries but you can simply go up till these max points and then you can simply find out or here also you can just put a condition of n but it's simply n into max points which you can have in your answer at max and both are like kind of funny for so no worries on that part also which ultimately show you that okay the complexity will be around 1e8 which um although in very best case it will not give because it's just a border for complexity it's just the border of complexity so a few times it, it can give a few times it cannot but in lead code it gives but yeah we can for sure optimize it uh, much 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 better 
space is all of max points because we are using a max points array but we can for sure optimize it um how we can do that we can simply or you can simply also have a max points itself max point max points so simply it's max points into max points Anyway, you can just see if you just have an end, then you have to add a few more conditions or few more optimizations here and there. But it is more or less both are end and max points both are like this. So simply your complexity anyway will go up to 28 only. But 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 can we optimize this? Because it it will give you TLE for sure. Can you optimize this? Yes, we can. How? If we just go back and look at our DP of 14 again, then it was something like this: DP of 13, 12, and 11 which I can write this as one upon max points. I just bought it out and then it was DP of 13, 12 and 11. If I just try to find out DP of 15, it will be DP of 14, 12 and 11, right? You will see DP of 14, 13, so DP of 14, 13 and 12. You will see that these two remain same. Only this part got removed and this part got added. So as you will go on to the next DP of 16, just one thing which means it will just get removed the last one and again dp of 15 will get added so basically it will just happen that you have this whole window as soon as you reach on to the next to find the next i plus one or i i element this last part will get removed and again a new part will get added it's nothing but a sliding window approach which is being used to optimize your existing dp solution you saw how good this question is. Yeah, it is. Now, the, the, the thing you use the for loop to find the DP of I entirely by going on to every of those DP of I minus PT, that won't be required at all because you can just use a sliding window, which is like nothing but computing. Okay, what is the sliding window sum? Like I can have it as a window sum or anything. And then I can, I can update that window sum accordingly at every step. Okay, I will just remove this last value which was there and then add a new upcoming value and then in the next step if i had a row something like this i just removed this and added another value so in the next step the it took something like this i'll again remove this and add another value it will look something like this i'll just again remove this and add another value it is how the sliding window approach works by this simple optimization everything remains exactly same i have this as um, my base case is exactly same. As I also showed you, I, you can have anything, max points or n, um, no worries at all, because both go simply, uh, simply find up till max points, or simply find up till n, anyways, whatsoever you want. Uh, probability, which is the final probability, which we also had in the existing problem also, if you just go and look, existing problem also has probability sum. Now, ultimately one modification is the window sum, because I need to maintain that window sum, and with that window sum itself, I need to shift that window sum to find the, current 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 this range sum i will just get with this window sum and initially probability of getting the number zero the point zero as one uh, we saw earlier also then i just simply go on to every of those n points because ultimately i just want to find the answer for k up till n points so n points are more than sufficient for us now to find that uh, okay what is the point because the ap of i is storing nothing but it is storing the probability of reaching the ith point so it, it was nothing but this window sum upon this max points so it is nothing but this window sum upon the max points as simple as that and also 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 we just remember that okay for the next step i just have to have to add my new dp of i because for the because see for this window right now for this window right now it is this window it is this window for the next dp of 15 i need to add a dp of 14 it will add dp of 14 and also i need to remove my dp of 11 which is i i will add which means i will add dp of i i will add a dp of i and i will remove a dp of i minus max pts right i'll do the same stuff i will just add a dp of i and i will just remove the i minus max pts value to actually get the next window sum by these two things i'll get it but 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 you also remember that you have to find the probability also although you can make it in the last also but also you can just accommodate this in this step only that okay if your i which means okay if you have exceeded n and because you have exceeded your k and for sure your loop is going until n so from k to n it will just find the probability sum 
and it will just add in this some call probability and you will ultimately return this probability ultimately you will have just o of n because of the n loop and also o of n because of the space of dp you can also have o of max points also but still there you have to make a, again a new step of computing your probability sum from k to n because you are only considered from k to n part only and then also it will just change but still the complexity will for sure remain same either if you take max points or you take as n both are same that is you will just get the answer and code of c plus java and python is down below for your reference i hope that you guys got it it was an amazing question of mass probability uh, sliding window dp oh god amazing if you guys liked it then please 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 do smash the like button to make these notes it took around three hours <sighs> and yeah that was it Say so, no, 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 no